videos, I shared some things that you definitely don't need in your closet and keeping those in the back of your mind can be really helpful as you're decluttering and then also as you're out shopping and actually developing your personal style. But it's also really important to know the things that you definitely shouldn't get rid of. Things that even when you're really wrapped up and excited about decluttering and kind of starting fresh, there are certain things that are more likely to cycle back into your life and become useful at various points. So hopefully these can help you to declutter mindfully and do so in a way that keeps the longevity of your style and heart. So let's get started. So the first thing that you should never declutter is high quality shoes that fit you really well and are really comfortable and functional for your life. When it comes to actually building out outfits, there's a really big difference between something that looks great when you're standing still and something that allows you to actually walk around and live life. And if you're maybe traveling and you're going to sightsee, building an outfit around a pair of shoes that's really high quality and allows you to walk comfortably makes a really big difference. And it can really change the trajectory of your personal style because when you use kind of functionality as one of your guiding forces, then you eliminate a lot of footwear that looks great for maybe one or two occasions here or there. But when it comes to actually wearing them and using them, this is something that's so important to always remember. And as you're decluttering and maybe going through your closet or maybe your style is evolving and changing, I think it's always a good idea to hang on to those shoes that are really well made, they're really high quality, and they're comfortable. Because chances are there can come a day, maybe a year from now or 10 years from now, where you're putting together an outfit and you're thinking, oh, that pair of shoes would have been perfect. So rather than having to start totally over, it's better to hang on to the things that you already have and allow them to cycle in and out as your lifestyle changes and then ultimately as they can serve you to the best of their personal ability within your overall style and your closet. The next thing you should never declutter is your favorite pair of jeans. And for me personally, I kind of go in cycles. Sometimes I really love jeans and I wear them a lot. And then other times I don't really reach for them that often, but there's always a consistency in the type of jeans that I do cycle back to. And anytime that I'm putting together an outfit that requires a pair of jeans, having that pair or that couple pairs that fit me really well and I know that I love when I'm wearing them has been really helpful for me and my style and really stood the test of time as I've gone through different phases of trying to declutter and not declutter and ultimately develop what I really love. So when it comes to going through your closet, this is definitely one of those areas that I recommend pausing. And before you just toss them out, if it's a pair of jeans that you know you love and you know that you wear and maybe you're just not loving them at this moment, put them in the back of your closet, put them in a container, maybe under your bed or at the top of a shelf somewhere. And then when the time does come, maybe a year from now, and you're putting together an outfit and thinking about that pair of jeans, you can go get it, try it on, see if it still works. And it's a much more mindful way to go about decluttering because it can allow you to eliminate the regrets that are associated with decluttering a lot because it's very easy to get so wrapped up and especially if you focus too much on trends and less on what you really love personally that's a very easy trap to fall into. Another thing you should never declutter, or at the very least kind of think twice before you get rid of it, is gonna be tailored jackets and blazers, all of that beautiful outerwear that can be kind of hard to find. And especially if you have something that maybe you tailored to, sit, uh, to suit you perfectly, or it's just really, really well made. Those types of jackets and blazers are the things that you're probably gonna come back to. And even though you may not be loving them right now, there's a very strong chance that that structure and that tailoring and the bespoke feeling of those items is something you're probably going to want to reach for at another time. So I always hang on to these and I've got a couple in my closet that I haven't worn in like the last three or four years, but I'll never get rid of them. I love them so much and when I do cycle back to them, they're something that I really enjoy wearing. Another type of outerwear or jacket that I recommend not decluttering is going to be your leather jackets. And this is something that is so important because 
much like the blazers and the uh, coats and the jackets in that area that we just talked about, leather jackets can kind of come in and out of popularity and then the aesthetic can kind of change a little bit. So sometimes moto jackets are really popular or maybe a bomber style or like a trench style that's really good right now. And they have a tendency to fluctuate and come in and out. So if you find one or you have one in your closet that fits you really well, it's in a beautiful material and a great color for your color palette, I recommend not getting rid of that and holding on to it as you come back to it and as things kind of rotate in and out in trends and then your personal style. I have one in my closet that I bought I think like maybe 10 years ago now. It's a great color, it fits me really well and all the details are perfect for my personal style. So even though I don't wear it all that often right now, I know that I'll come back to it again. And I found myself thinking about it the other day as I was getting dressed and I was so glad that I didn't declutter it. So definitely hang on to your leather jackets. So another thing that I recommend not decluttering is silk scarves. I personally really love silk scarves, as you know, and I've got a variety in my closet. Some of them are vintage, some of them are newer, some of them are heavier and bigger, and some of them are lightweight and really small, like a little square style. And I love every single one of them and they add so much to an outfit. So even though much like the rest of the things that we've discussed, maybe you're not loving it that much right now, chances are you're going to want to come back to that. And hanging on to those beautiful pieces and especially the ones that are unique or that you've so carefully hand selected for your closet, that's going to make a really big difference in your personal style and developing your personal style beyond just one outfit and instead creating something with longevity that you know you'll love. So definitely for the silk scarves, keep them, hang on to them, put them in a great big basket or a good box somewhere and really go through them and encourage yourself to style them different ways and play around with them and find the ones that you really, really love that you know you'll love forever. And the last thing that you shouldn't declutter is belts. I have a lot of belts in my closet. Some of them are vintage and some of them are newer. And as I've developed my style and as it's evolved and changed, it's one of the only areas in my closet that I haven't touched. I've added to it, but I've never subtracted. And I'm so glad every time that I go to put together an outfit and I want to wear a belt because now I have so many to choose from and it's definitely part of my accessory wardrobe that I really love and I like um, having at my disposal for different aesthetics and different looks and so anytime I find a really great belt I'm really quick to add it to my closet because they can do so much for your outfit and especially as you're cultivating more vintage pieces you can find some really really beautiful belts and really great finishes and kind of different sizes and different shapes and just a really fun way to change up your outfit. So I always recommend hanging on to your belts. I'm very glad that I have and I'm really excited to continue to build out my belt collection and always add them to an outfit anytime it feels like it's kind of missing something because as you can tell from what I'm wearing today I'm not wearing a belt but I definitely tried a belt with this outfit and I decided I liked it better without but I always like having those at my disposal. So I hope that these types of things are helpful for you and as you're decluttering your own closet definitely try to keep these types of things in mind and if there's anything that you know you constantly reach for or that you really love it has sentimental value or it's just something that brings a joy every time you look at it it can be a good idea to hang on to it rather than getting wrapped up in decluttering and kind of this end goal of minimal rather than joy and happiness and longevity so good luck in all of your decluttering and like always thank you so much for watching